Greetings YouTube, my name is Alex and I am the Reef Dork. And today was supposed to be a happy day when I tell you that I'm upgrading from my 120 litre nano tank to a beautiful brand new Red Sea Reefer Peninsula 500. However, I've had a bit of a major setback unfortunately when I was putting it in place. Um, I built the stand and the tank was on its end so that end was on the floor and as I dragged it across on a piece of cardboard on the floor to get it in place I managed to knock an electric screwdriver off my coffee table and onto the weir box which cracked it. Ugh. Let's take a look at the photos. So as you can see the crack is quite nasty. It spans the full width of the weir box and splinters off into a few other cracks. It then continues towards the left hand side to roughly halfway down. Now I bought the tank from a shop in the UK called Charterhouse Aquatics, but when I contacted them for help, I found them really unhelpful. They basically told me I could replace the entire glass tank for a thousand pounds, or find a local tank builder and take the tank to them myself for them to fix it. But then I contacted my local fish shop, Maidenhead Aquatics in Windsor, and they couldn't have been more helpful. They suggested placing a panel of glass over the crack panel to use as a plaster. I then contacted Red Sea directly, who made the same suggestion and even phoned me to talk me through how to do it. I'm extremely grateful for those two for their sympathy and assistance. I really don't know what I would have done without them. So I cleaned the area thoroughly with methylated spirit, then applied silicon to the glass plaster I'd bought. Red Sea told me to make sure there was a seal around the entirety of the edge, then to use a little more in the centre. I then carefully lined it up and pushed it in place then added further silicon to the edges and to the back of the broken panel. Now this, as you can see, is the first time I've done anything like this, so having guidance from Red Sea was absolutely invaluable. Now I'm sure you'll agree the finished product isn't exactly to professional standard, but this will cover up with coralline algae in no time. Now when it first happened, of course, I was absolutely gutted, but I think it's been a relatively easy fix in the end, and that should do the job. However, we'll find out in a couple of weeks time when I put water in it. So hit that subscribe button, check out some of my other videos in the meantime. And if you'll excuse me, I think you'll agree I need a beer.